Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of a 1965 GTO real tri-power car and that's right it's still on there too. Beautiful black interior. Now the car started out as an auto car but somebody upgraded it to a four-speed. It is sweet guys and if you want to check out about a hundred pictures of her go to our website at VanguardMotorSales.com we're going to put it up on the lift so you can see how pretty the underside is. You can bet we're going to get the hood up and check out the tri-power, the black interior. We're going to show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your GTO investment. So come on up and let's fire this tri-power car up. So let's check out this GTO. Now the restoration on it is beautiful. Chrome looks fantastic. The grill looks great. Looks like we got one little touch up here on the hood. The paint is as slick as can be. Beautiful wheels and tires on it. All the moldings here look like they're new. The rocker moldings in good shape. All the stainless around the uh, windshield and around the uh, drip edge. Vent window looks good. All the aluminum hair is in good shape. Look at those door lips. Looks brand new. Looks like they had the latch out when they restored it. All the rubber looks good. Look down the quarter panel, how nice and straight the bodywork is. Deck lid looks great. Now on these GTOs, this is a picky spot. Usually all this is all pitted up. It looks very, very good. There are just a couple tiny little pits. Other than that, it is near perfect. Bumper chrome looks great. Emblem looks awesome. Of course, 50-50 chance I got it wrong with the keys. In the trunk, beautiful. Look how nice everything is. Trunk floor looks good. Wheel wells look good. Backsides of the quarters look good. Everything's painted nice. Everybody knows they don't reproduce these deck lids and this one is beautiful. Nice and smooth there. Look, when you look down the side of it, look how nice and straight it is. That great big flat panel. Somebody spent hundreds of hours blocking this baby out to get her nice and straight. Now look at that door jam, beautiful. At Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not a consignment dealer. That means we spend the time to check the cars out before we buy them. We got about 185 cars in stock right now and we own each and every one of them. When they do come back to the shop, we inspect them so we can answer all your questions when you call at 248-974-9513. Now let's take a look at the interior. Door panel looks fantastic. Looks like it's brand new. Armrest too. All the handles look good. Pedals look good, carpeting looks great, and there's that four-speed shifter. Like I said, the car was born with an automatic. It was upgraded to a four-speed. We've got seat belts in the front. The upholstery on the seats is beautiful. All the chrome on the seats is beautiful. That back seat doesn't look like it was ever sat in. Package tray looks good. Headliner's nice and tight. The dome light's even working on this car. Check out those sun visors, the dash pad itself. The wood on the dash looks good, the gauges look good, the lenses on the gauges look great, the chrome on the dash is in great shape, that steering wheel is hot looking also. All right, now that you've had a quick look at the car, if you want to go straight to our website and check out about 180 other cars, hit the top button. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit the middle button. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bottom button. Now let's get back out there and check out that car. All right, let's go for a ride in our 65 GTO Tri-Power. This car is amazing. 
I think 65s are probably the most popular ones out there right now, probably because they're the scarcest. We very rarely have a 65, and when we do get one, boom, it sells right away. So if you're interested in this one, you better get on the phone and call Tom now. This is a real tri-power car. Sweet ride here. Awesome restoration. She's driving great. Love these GTOs. Always like these square bodies. Man, is it cool. She's accelerating nice. Trans feels good. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this car anywhere in the world. So you give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tommy answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So just give him a call. Now down here on the dash, it looks brand new. Speedo's working. All the uh, wood grain looks good. Uh, we've got the heat on today because it's actually a little chilly. So the blower's working. Now the radio comes on and makes static, but I can't tune in a, a tune. Horn's blowing, windshield wipers are wiping. This GTO is ready to head out to your driveway today. And get around this semi truck's taking his time. He must be getting paid by the hour. Now our shop's right outside the Motor City in Plymouth, Michigan. So we'd love to show you this beautiful car if you'd like to come out and take a look. We sell about 90% of our cars sight unseen. Of course, this guy don't have a turn signal on his car. Too busy looking at us. But we do love to have visitors. So come on out and take a look if you'd like. If you'd like to send out an inspector, no problem. Just give us a call, let us know he's coming. We actually have two facilities. Uh, our other building's only a couple miles from here, but we like to have everything right over here at our main location. So when you and or your inspector come out, we're all ready for you. Now, the shop's only 20 minutes from the airport. And if you need a ride, give us a call. We'd love to come out and pick you up. If you see something on the car you'd like a little different, give us a call. We might be able to change it for you. Here's our shop right here at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. So you got to stick around now because we're going to put this up on the lift so you can check out the underside and then we'll get the hood up and take a look at the tri-power. All right, guys, we're underneath our 65 Pontiac now. This car is just about as nice of a, as a original Pontiac as I have really ever seen. I mean, this thing has not been touched. Gas tank is completely original to the car. As you can see, it's in really good shape, nice and solid. This car, if I'm not mistaken, uh, has roughly around 60,000 miles on it, and it shows under here. I mean, this thing looks like it was just as well kept as could be, only driven on the nicest of days. It has had a, a new exhaust put on it, and a stock style exhaust, of course, as you can see. Um, original type rear end here, this is the Pontiac style 10 bolt, what should be in the car. It's right around a uh, 350 gear in it, it is uh, open differential as the car would have been. Drum brakes in the rear, I personally was the one that did these drum brakes, they're absolutely fine in the back, nice and clean. And that brake pedal, it's a four wheel drum car, it feels like an, I mean, it, you're standing on Plymouth Rock, it's an awesome brake pedal in this thing. Uh, drive shaft U joints, they're in good shape on it, I've checked them. Uh, frames in great shape on the car, but that's no surprise because the car is in great shape. I mean, everything under here has not been touched. This car really hasn't been disassembled since it was put together in the factory in 1964. Um, it is a 65, by the way. Let me see here. Your drive shaft's got a beautiful paint job on the thing, as you can see. Uh, there is one thing that has been changed, and I will get to that right here. This actually, at one point, was an automatic car. This is no longer an automatic, as you can see. It's a Muncie four-speed. It's a 66, 67 uh, year transmission. Um, and the conversion was done fairly well on the thing. You even got reverse lights and everything is hooked up properly. Parking brake on the car works. But uh, anywho, that, that one modification has been done on it and uh, they did a pretty good job of it. You know, you can't really tell. The floor, the floor cut isn't, you know, all haggled like you see with a lot of them. Exhaust continuing to look good up here. Uh, this is the numbers matching 389 for the car. We'll get to that up top. Uh, front on the car is nice and tight. I mean, this thing drives like it is brand spanking new, and it doesn't come as a surprise to me. I've shaken all this stuff down. I mean, everything is nice and tight on it. Uh, all your, you know, I guess ball joint boots, your upper and lower ball joint boots, tie rod end boots, all of it's there. Everything's nice and greasable and serviceable on this thing, just like it would have been from the day. Uh, bottom side of the motor is absolutely beautiful on it. 
Uh, bias ply tires on this thing, just like what it should be from the factory. As I said uh, back there, front drum brakes, I've been in them. They're perfect. I give them a nice tight adjustment, so that's why the pedal's as high as it is on the thing. Nice and, uh, nice and firm. Radiator's in good shape on the underside. I don't see any leaks. I guess uh, let's check out wheels and tires. All right, guys, we got uh, stock wheels and tires on this thing. Bias ply, 7.75 R14s, which means this is a 14-inch rim. It is stock. We got the stock beauty ring, M hubcap. Everything looks like it's in good shape. Let's go check out the rear. All right, guys, in the back, we have the exact same thing we got in the front. We've got a set of a 7.75 bias ply on a 14-inch rim, uh, stock center cap and uh, beauty ring. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go check out the numbers matching 389. All right, guys, this is a 389 under the hood of this thing. It's absolutely original. I absolutely love it. Uh, 360 horse motor. The, um, of course, there was no VIN stamp in 65, but the date code matches up. The code here on the engine matches up, and it does say this is an automatic engine, which goes along with the story of the car originally being an automatic car. Um, outside of that, I said it was a 360 horse. We do have a tri-power. We've got the three Rochester uh, two jets on it. Uh, this thing sounds absolutely awesome when those outer carburetors open up. I mean, and it pushes you back in the seat now. Uh, outside of that, we, see, we can see that we got uh, stock exhaust manifolds on the thing, beautiful paint job on the motor, looks like a brand new temperature sending unit in the thing. It is a dummy light in the car. Um, power brakes on this car with the stock master cylinder. Uh, I did replace this. This is brand new on this car. Um, lines are all in really good shape, just like the underside. I mean, everything is so nice, the under hood light works. I mean, for heaven's sakes, just as it should. Uh, inner fender wells on the thing, uh, really good shape. See that our, uh, what do you want to call it, firewall is in really good shape on the thing too. It doesn't look like it's been messed with, monkeyed with, or anything like that. Just nice, nice paint job on it. Got all the factory stickers underneath it. Even we've got the, uh, the factory sound deadener or heat shield, whatever you want to call this, insulation underneath the hood. All that still is maintained. Looks like the alignment's fairly fresh. Upper, uh, I guess you would call it... Uh, control arm bushings look like they're in good shape and we do have the like the rubber boots that actually insulate everything from the motor i mean it doesn't get much nicer than this guys this car is an absolute time capsule if i've ever seen one you need to drive it in order to actually really appreciate how nice this car is so that's about it if you guys like to have this thing parked in your driveway make sure to call tom with the number below and let vanguard motor sales park your dreams in your driveway all right we've made it really easy for you Click on any one of these five pictures here and it'll take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're gonna give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture.